Hey, it is Sunday. We are in the Aloft Hotel in Miraflores in Lima, Peru. Kayla's over there. We did have two beds. I think it's, it's ironic that the light is out because our friend just left. Uh, he was visiting for a week and uh, he left at like 5 a.m. this morning, 5.30 a.m. this morning. So uh, we have the rest of today till about two o'clock in this hotel. And then we go to Chorilos, which is a town just south of where we are too. It's a little bit further even than our previous places. Not a town? Not a town? Just, a, just, a neighborhood. just a neighborhood. Anyway, I just wanted to give a quick update. So this last week has been super go, go, go because we uh, went to Cusco and then from Cusco we went to Machu Picchu. Um, and then back and forth and all this stuff. And obviously we spent a few days here in Barranco. So a lot happened. Um, and as the financial uh, person in this relationship, I am currently going through all of our receipts and updating my spreadsheet to see how things are going. The other thing, part of the reason also is because our friend wanted to cover some of like, obviously the cost of when we went out to restaurants and whatnot. So part of it is entering it in and then kind of just roughly calculating, you know, portion like a third of, of the bills and stuff like that it made it easy it made it so that we weren't like keeping track during the week of like oh i think you paid for the last meal i'll pay for this meal or i owe you you whatever it was just kind of like i took care of most of it so that i could then just add it up afterwards it's not a fun kind of job but i enjoy it so i guess it is fun <laughs> uh, but that is our sunday morning we're about to head out for breakfast here soon and we have late checkout at two o'clock so uh, we have a few more hours here, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update on kind of the the living aspect outside of all the busy stuff and fun stuff we've been doing last week. We get back into work mode tomorrow. We are in our new place in Chorilos for about a week, so we're going to be setting up a little bit of an, an office there, so stay tuned. Okay, so we just got to our place in Chorillos and uh, it's cute, it's nice and small. It reminds me kind of of our apartment in Toronto, but the only downside is that there's no air conditioning and this is the window. So we have the window open right now, but it's, it's warm. So we're gonna be sweating. I feel like we need to leave them open at night. Yeah, probably. And uh, hope that it cools this place down just a little bit. Yeah. I couldn't imagine us being on a higher floor that would be, like we're on the fifth floor. Yeah. Oh, so there's our kitchen. We've got a full stove, an oven, we got a toaster and a coffee maker. So we have to make a shopping list. We're here for one week and we're gonna go get some groceries so that we can eat for that one week. This week we are trying to be more budget friendly because last week we kind of splurged when Mark was here. And so that means we'll be making meals for pretty much all of them. We want to try McDonald's here in Peru because we haven't done that yet. Let's make a list. So what do we have from our previous places? Don't have a lot. I part of me regrets that we didn't bring that granola, but we had had it for a while and you weren't gonna eat it, so. I might have in the end, but I wasn't just, I wasn't gonna eat it at that last place. We do have some. We just have mixed nuts and then that. Mixed so. nuts and I would rice cakes. I would say we need to get stuff that we will like use and be done with. So we can either do like cereal and milk or just like eggs and bread. I forgot that I had to pee, so. Intermission. So fun thing about this apartment, washer dryer combo, and it's very small. So my stuff gets the second load, but we've been carrying around this for our laundry. So we have a couple of um, dryer sheets and we have these sheets of uh, wash and they are regular scented. I kind of wish we had gotten like, I think there was lavender, but it, there's just like something about when laundry doesn't smell like something, it feels like it's not clean, which I know is like something that is obviously burnt into my brain because we always had scented laundry stuff, but yeah. All right, so 
uh, back from the bathroom. We flipped Andrew's desk. He's gonna use the window as a backdrop so that I can still hang out on the couch and then I won't be in the background of all his videos while he's doing meetings and whatnot. We are now going to finish that list of groceries. So let's do that. I wanted to tell you about one of the tools that we have with us while we travel that was on my Christmas list and I'm about to use it so I was going to show you what it is and why we got it. So this right here is a carbon monoxide detector and a lot of the places that we are staying in South and Central America and I'm sure in other places around the world as well, um, Airbnb says that they do not need a carbon monoxide detector because of basic rules around the world. We have a gas stove here, but there doesn't seem to be a carbon monoxide detector. It's super simple to use. Basically, I just turn it on and it shows me the humidity in the air. It shows me the temperatures and it shows me the CO level, which is currently at zero. If that were to get into any sort of dangerous territory, there's an alarm that would actually go off. So usually, we turn it on, check right away. It's usually zero, which is awesome. But sometimes in places like this, we'll leave it on the counter just in case we want to make sure that we're turning off all the appliances and whatnot. Um, both Andrew and I are very used to electric stoves. And so we don't often use the gas one. I grew up with a gas stove and never worried about the carbon monoxide levels because we had a detector in the house and I didn't have to worry about that. But when you're on the road and they have different safety precautions and safety requirements in different countries, you just want to be safe sometimes. So yeah, that's a little tool that we have in our little toolbox. And this is what we do pretty much everywhere we go. Sorry, Panama, but I think Peru has the better chicken. Same. Also, this salsa de agui amarillo is my favorite. I wish they had this everywhere in the world. I might just have to like import yellow peppers so that I can make it in the future because it's so good. How is it? Pretty good. You think it's good? Pretty good. Pretty normal though. Just a lot of onions. Oh really? Oh yeah, a lot of onions. ice cream itself, not as sweet as back home. Nice. So it's kind of relying on the chocolate and the cookies to be sweet. But it's really nice, it's refreshing.
So in our Marriott home, we got uh, one with a kitchen and including an oven. Uh, the oven doesn't work, just doesn't work. We have a full freaking chicken to cook. Yeah, so we currently purchased a chicken, a small chicken, nonetheless. Um, so we're now gonna make do with it and try to cook it on the, here Kiel, let me help you. Try to cook it on the. Keeps good, yeah. It is the cooking. Uh, we're gonna try to cook it on the stove top uh, based on internet instructions. Come on. Okay, that's breast side down, right? Sure. Doesn't matter. We'll just put it five minutes on there to brown. Flip it. Medium low. For an hour. <laughs> good. So anyway. Um, also. We have a blender, yeah, so we were, I bought stuff to make um, we were gonna make sours. Peruvian sour mix, and the blender doesn't work, so now we're gonna have to make it by hand, which you would be like, Andrew, just make a damn drink by hand. Uh, the issue is that we were, we needed it, it needed crushed ice, so that's the blender. What did I say, two cups? Wasn't listening. It was only a half a cup, but then it was two cups of uh, water. It was two cups of ice and a half cup of water. So let's do a full cup of water. Sure. So right now we just have pisco uh, water and we're now adding in the mango mix. It is red. It is. Can I have a fork? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the last fork, I gotta do dishes. Careful the blade in the bottom. So just a bit of an update. Today's been uh, a little bit busier than we had expected it to. Uh, I finished work a little bit early today, so um, I decided that I need to get those passport photos taken while I can, just to be safe in case anything. So I uh, found a place online that was actually recommended by the uh, Netherlands government um, that was actually very close to a German bar we went to. So. Uh, we headed up there, which is in Miraflores. We got the photos taken, which took a little bit of time, but all good. Kayla got new pants. Uh, went to a bar that we've been to before, uh, Barbarian. Had a beer, did some work for a bit. And then uh, to round it all off, well, A, I had to go pick up the photos because they had to take like an hour or two to print. Then we hit up the casino, Atlantic City, did a little bit of gambling, lost a little bit of money, uh, as all good gamblers do. But those fools, I got a free coffee out of it. I also somehow joined the Atlantic City Club. <laughs> I don't think I can show up to actual Atlantic City with this and be like, uh, I, think you know, I think you know who I am here. Also my passport photos, which I'm not gonna show you because my hands are a little dirty. Uh, make me look like a serial killer. So I think they're acceptable. I think that's kind of like the bar. Good news is we've made a large batch of alcoholic beverages. We have nowhere to be. And we're gonna just live it up on a Wednesday. Good morning, it's our last Full day in Peru. Tomorrow we are hitting the airport and we are off to Argentina. Hopefully. Hopefully. I know I am off to Argentina. We're just hoping that Andrew also gets to go. Okay. Andrew says we're off to Argentina. So today is actually a holiday. It's actually Good Friday. So we are going to do some stuff, hang out, do some packing, and then tomorrow morning, very early, we are going to hit the airport. See what we get up to today. So we decided to get out of the house a little bit today. Like I mentioned before, it is a holiday. It's Good Friday and we are exploring some of the beaches here in Chorillos. They have some of the prettiest beaches. I think we're getting into Barranco area, yeah. Barranco, but we're really enjoying being outside in the sun. 
and it looks like everybody else is too because it is very These busy. Are I'm officially all packed up. Andrew Me too. is struggling to close his bag. Last week, our friend Mark was here and um, he offered to take some stuff back if he had space. So I actually sent home a pair of pants that I've only been able to wear like 50% of the time. I'm way too bloaty to wear them half the time. So they're just not very useful. I sent home a long sleeve shirt that I really loved and looked good with all my outfits, but I would literally wear it for like five minutes and then it would smell like sweat. It was so bad, it made me sweat profusely. So I sent that home. And then um, I've worn it before and you may have seen it in some shots, but I have like this black dress that is just a little um, too low cut in the front. So I always have to wear the same blue top underneath it and I just was wasn't liking it because there weren't a lot of combinations that I could do with it. So I sent that home, but I ended up, oh, and I broke a pair of pants. So I had to throw those out. So if you're counting, I have lost two of my pants, two pants, a shirt and a dress. I have replaced the two pairs of pants and yet somehow it still feels like I have more clothes than before in my suitcase. So yeah, anyways, I really like the new pants. I bought them at the same store that I bought a green shirt at for St. Patrick's Day because I really wanted to wear green. Oh yeah, I guess I bought, I did buy a new shirt. I bought a green one. So I guess the only thing that I haven't replaced is the dress. So we're at the Lima airport and they have like an automatic drop off for LATAM which worked fine for me, but Andrew said that he has to go and do the check-in at the gate. So I'm just crossing my fingers that his passport works. What's up? I'm gonna fly the plane. We made it through security slash customs. So now we're on our way to our gate. We've got an hour and a half till we board. Exit, exit customs, just to clarify. It's up to entry customs yes. when we get there. But Two they're all over the airport, they're really cute. We made it to Sao Paulo. We have about an hour until we board to go to Argentina, Buenos Aires. Country number three. Such a far walk. It turns out we were in terminal three because uh, that was closest to us, but we need to be in terminal two, uh, which for us is this very empty hallway that I guess nobody else is it using. It feels like the hallway underground. In Montreal? For border. Oh, oh yeah, to get to the island. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, we are, fortunately we still have like 25, 30 minutes before they even start boarding. So we're on our way now. 